Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to BTNX. Today we have an exciting topic lined up for you. Excel and AI integration for business intelligence. In this video, we are going to dive into the world of data analytics and create a powerful Excel dashboard using AI tools. But before we start, I have something special for you. BTNX is hosting an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. So make sure to stick around. Now, working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Let's talk about the data set we'll be working with. I have selected a video games sales data set from Kaggle, which includes information about games with sales greater than 100k copies. It's a fascinating data set generated by scrapping vgcharts.com covering various aspects like platform, genre, sales in different regions and many more. Our goal today is to leverage AI tools to create a comprehensive Excel dashboard that provides valuable business insights. So let's jump right into it. First of all, let's find out some of North American sales, some of Europe sales, some of Japan sales and some of other sales along with that some of global sales. So I'm going to find out that value here. Okay. As you can see, we got the values here. So let's create our first row in our dashboard. So I'm going to create dashboard here. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all the cells in this worksheet. Then I'm going to change the color here. Now I'm going to insert tab here. I'm going to select shapes from shapes. I'm going to select rounded rectangle. So I'm just going to place it here. Okay, here, now, again, I'm going to insert tab from shapes. I'm going to select text box. Okay. And I'm going to drag it here. So here I want to display some of global sales. Okay. For that, I'm just going to type equals to, then I'm going to select the value here. Okay. We are going to format this thing by going to shape format. Here I'm going to select no fill option. And uh, I'm going to change the text color to white I'm just formatting the text I'm going to insert another text box below the first one so here I'm going to type sum of global sales and I'm going to format this thing okay I'm going to create similar to this four other some of non-American sales one, some of uh, European sales one, 
some of japan sales one and some of other sales one as you can see we got all these things now we are going to create a line chart which shows some of global sales by year for that i'm going to use pivot table function for that you have to go to insert tab then click on pivot table you can choose a new worksheet no issues here i'm going to drag global sales to values and year to rows now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on pivot chart now i'm going to design tab here change chart type here i'm going to select line chart okay so we'll select 2d1 okay so i'm just going to add x axis title and uh, y axis title now i'm going to copy the chart and i'm going to paste it here 